New York City of the 1950s was baseball's promised land. Home to the Giants, the Dodgers, and the Yankees, the latter two of which were the game's greatest rivals. The Yankees and their winning ways, they did it again with young stars like Mickey Mantle at the plate and veterans like Ali Reynolds on the mound. The American League leaders kept a tight grip on their World Series crown by subduing the Brooklyn Dodgers four games to three. In the 50s, the Yankees and Dodgers met each other in the World Series four times in five years, 1952, 53, 55. The Dodgers win it two to nothing and win their first World Series. And 1956. It would be the 56 series that would grab the most attention, all thanks to a 27-year-old pitcher. Before game five of the 1956 World Series, Don Larson was just another name, buried beneath those of his legendary teammates, like Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, and Whitey Ford. Larson was unsensational, but all of that changed on October 8th. With the series tied at two games apiece, Larson took the mound at Yankee Stadium. He would hurl 97 pitches against the Brooklyn Dodgers that day, and it would be 27 up, 27 down. A perfect game, the first and only in a World Series. And Don Larson is baseball's man of the hour. Suddenly, everyone knew the name Don Larson. Don Larson, uh, we'd like to ask you the traditional uh, question first. When did you realize that you had a no-hitter going? Well, I don't know, Doug. Uh, when I'm pitching the game, it's hard to keep your eyes off the scoreboard, and I sort of noticed it around the sixth inning, I guess. And then as every inning went on, I got uh, a little feeling a little weak in the stomach, and in the ninth, I knew I was going to try to get it, get everything I had. The Yankees would go on to win the 1956 World Series with Larson claiming the MVP title. His career in the following years would slide back down into mediocrity, but nothing would ever take away from his moment of greatness, his perfect day.